After a week on Fleeland, it was time to continue sailing south. A last grocery shopping and prepping down below, and we were ready to go the next day. We took out the Jenneker that stowed under the four peak bed, in case we would need it while sailing. And that takes some rearranging. after low tide to make sure it was deep enough at the harbor entrance. There was a significant swell, which made me feel quite nauseous. So I went to lay down and try to sleep. Quite rolly, but still okay to do the dishes with my assistant. It's been a couple of hours since we left uh, Vliland. Uh, the winds have been very light. It's only really now that we have some good sailing. The wind has returned. Now we have around 10 knots of wind uh, on a beam reach. So pretty okay sailing. Still a bit slow, but at least we have uh, the current with us now. So we're doing um, a bit over six knots. So the plan is to sail directly down to uh, Dieppe in France. It's about 270 nautical miles there, uh, the direct course. Uh, we will sail a little bit longer since we have decided to sail along the coast to avoid most of the traffic. There's quite many of these uh, traffic separation zones if you go the direct course. So I think it will be easier for us to just uh, hug the coastline. Also the wind will be um, coming from land, so this way there won't be as much fetch, so the waves will be smaller and hopefully we can get some comfortable sailing. Vad hittar tjejen och kväll? Medlemsar. I could get a little bit of food down, and the day turned into evening.
Now to the sunset a while ago. The girls have gone to bed and uh, yeah, I'm settling in for the night. Right now we have uh, still on a beam reach, 12 knots of wind, uh, really comfortable sailing uh, because the wind is from the land so no fetch. Um, right now we're doing 5.3 over ground but we have the current against us right now so I would say that we're doing a bit over 6 knots through the water. Um, we just passed by Emeden can't really pronounce that, but the port just outside of Amsterdam. And now we're on our way uh, down towards Rotterdam. And I have to say, it's pretty nice to sail this close to land because we're um, avoiding most of the heavy traffic here. So, yeah, I think it will be a really pleasant night and uh, hopefully good sailing all the way until uh, late afternoon tomorrow. Uh, the forecast right now says that there's uh, thunder and uh, a lot of heavy rain coming up from France um, just before we enter the English Channel. In like in half an hour from now, uh, we're going to uh, cross the entrance to Europe's largest port, Rotterdam. It's still one of the largest ports in the world. Um, and there's a lot of traffic here. So sometimes it can be uh, quite a challenge to cross the entrance. But from what I can see on the AIS, uh, we shouldn't have any problems. Yeah, Rotterdam was the biggest port in the world up until 2004 when it was overtaken by some port in China which I can't uh, remember the name of but uh, it's still a very big port and it has connections to a lot of uh, waterways leading into big industrial areas here in Europe uh, you have the river Rhine, the river Maas I think and the third one which I can't remember the name of which are big waterways uh, that has ha heavy traffic on them as well. So we're passing by the entrance and uh, yeah, there is a ship coming away but it looks like we have a CPA for uh, There he is. It's 6 o'clock in the morning, about an hour before sunrise. Uh, we have a broad reach now and the wind has picked up a little bit. We have uh, yeah, around 15 to 16 knots of true wind. And we're doing um, around 7 knots right now. So I think it's uh, pretty much slack now, the current of the tide. It's been like this the whole night, almost, really comfortable sailing. Um, unfortunately, I think the wind will die down a bit during the day um, because of this rain that is coming in in the afternoon. I'm pretty tired, been up all night, so I think I'm going to wake Malin up now when the, the sun comes up. Um, then maybe I can sleep until uh, noon or something. Yeah, you know the saying, red sky in the morning, sailor take warning. We'll see how much rain and thunder there will be later today.
Har en skutta fram så fort Snacka på det spår Hjälp, 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 hjälp till mig Annars fångar jag mig Kom jag, kom i stugan min Räck mig handen din Ja! We're just entering France and we are sailing it through a anchorage field with the ships at anchor and just started to rain which was uh, forecasted. We're not sure how much rain we will get. Um, yesterday the forecast said it was gonna rain quite a lot. This morning when we looked at the weather, uh, before we were out of internet range um, it looked uh, like it's gonna come much less. I'm on watch right now and the rest of the crew um, is asleep. Strangely enough it seems like we've had the current with us the whole night and we still have the current with us. We're doing 6.6 .6 knots um, of speed, uh, speed over ground. And the wind is around 9 knots now on the beam. So it has, uh, the wind has come down quite a lot. Um, the waves have come down with thankfully. Looks like we're gonna arrive early tomorrow morning in Dieppe, France. Sailing by a ship that's Anchored here, pretty close. <laughs> it's been raining for a while, and uh, with that, the wind shifted. Um, so now we are sailing close hull. We're doing good speed, 8.5 knots speed over ground and the wind is around uh, and we have 13 knots of wind The sun has come out now and the rain stopped, it didn't get very bad. We are approaching Calais, or Calais. This is the most narrow spot um, in the whole English Channel. Yeah, we're in the English Channel now, by the way. We've left the North Sea. We have 70 nautical miles left. The wind is very light at the moment, but should come back um, later tonight. And when it does, we should have a nice downwind sail down to Dieppe. We're closing in on Calais. We have about, I don't know, 10 nautical miles there, I think. And uh, the current is starting to turn on us, so and also the wind it's uh, really light conditions now the courtesy flag is flown on the starboard spreader and it's a gesture to the country that you're sailing in. We passed by Calais by engine, on calm water and not much traffic. We did see a seal pop up its head though.
Sunsets at sea are always magical, no matter how many times you've seen them. And the wind have returned a little bit. We have uh, five to six knots of wind, so <laughs> very light conditions. And the seas are like glass almost. It's really cool, We're like gliding through the water. But the sails are standing, so it's okay. We're doing uh, 4.5 knots of a ground, so obviously we have some current with us. So, yeah, it's just super quiet and pretty. It's like, yeah, we're just ghosting along. The only thing you hear are the fishing boats in the distance. There's quite many trawlers in the area. And they're running their diesel engines over there. Harbor looked the same as five and a half years ago, and there were many free spots on the visitor stock. The sail took 44 hours, and it feels très bien to be in France. Thank you so much for watching. 